Hi YouTubers, it's Smoking Etsy 77 again for the second video, second video today. Uh, why am I doing a video today, you ask? Well, I actually have a pipe dark review for you guys. Okay, so it's been quite a while since I've done a pipe dark review. It's been over a month, but I do have a pipe dark review for you guys tonight. Okay, tonight we have this tobacco. We have Cornell Deal's Pyre Cake uh, from PipesAndCigars.com. Now this is um, a bulk tobacco that they sell on... Um, PipesandCigars.com. It's also available in um, a 60 ounce can from Cornell Deal Direct. Now, this is um, a Latakia English, quote, English blend, and I've had five bowls so far. It's a crumble cake, so it comes in a little uh, plug or crumble cake size. You do have to break it up, which is very messy, but um, the point is, this tobacco contains, well, the point is that it's a little bit messy, but um, it's manageable. If you don't, if you don't mind breaking up, it's, um, you know, well, you get what I'm saying, so it's a little bit messy to break that, but, um, it is smokable. So, anyway, this, toba this tobacco contains, uh, four primary tobaccos, Burley, Latakia, Cavendish, and Turkish. Okay, so it's a Latakia English, quote, English blend. It's not really an English blend, because English blends are from, blends from England, and this is produced in the United States. Anyway, let's have a smell of this tobacco. I smoke most of it, I actually just got an ounce of it, not, no more than an ounce, so it's a pretty small volume. What I'm trying to say is, I only got an ounce of it, so I didn't get a, quite a bit of it. So, you get what I'm saying. So, I don't have to explain myself. So, very smoky. Very, very um, heavy, smoky, very strong smell to it. This is what it looks like. It's very dark. Anyway, without further ado, let's do the review of this tobacco. And, okay. You see what I got? Okay, the strength-wise, nicotine-wise. I would say the nicotine content of this blend is mild to medium. There's a little bit of strength there, it's a little bit of a buzz, not, nothing overwhelming, very, very mild strength, um, but um, good. Uh, the body. The body of this tobacco is inter interesting. Um, it's kind of, um, how would I describe it? It's kind of a soil-like metallic taste, has a little bit of a pepper-like taste to it. It's earthy, very earthy, has a very soil-like taste from it, also a dirt-like taste. It's not the most pleasant taste in the world. I will say this tobacco is very moist, which is unusual for Cornell Deal, because Cornell Deal typically bloods their tobacco is very dry. This is very moist. I would recommend drying it out for at least an hour or so. It's also kind of hard to light. It's very hard to light and very hard to keep lit. Um, so the body is kind of a soil metallic um, taste. It actually reminds me of um, when you smoke a cigar and um, the cigar is kind of going out. That taste you get when you um, <clears throat> when you are trying to relight really the cigar. So, yeah, not the most pleasant taste in the world, um, but there are worse. The flavor. There's no flavors, no additives, no emirants, just pure tobacco. Um, the room note. How smells non-smokers. This is gonna stink. Anything like Kia, and it will stink. And this is a very heavy, smoky room note, so not appealing to non-smokers. Uh, and there are people out there who just say I hate smoke, smoke. Period. But um. Point is, not appealing to non-smokers in general. In general. Now, the tongue bite of this tobacco, there's no bite, there's no irritation to tongue, mouth, whatever. Which is good, because no one likes tongue bite. The retrohaling way, retrohaling this tobacco through your nose. Um, there, it's a very heavy sensation, um, not peppery, but very heavy, earthy sensation when you retrohale through your nose. Um, what I suggest recommend this to a price smoker or a price smoker? I have mixed feelings about it. It's not the most pleasant taste in the world. Maybe if this tobacco was more less moist, it would smoke better. I think personally this would benefit from a little bit of the aging, but it is a little harsh. It's a little harsh in my throat. Um, it's smooth, but not the kind of smooth it's, that's really smooth, silky smooth. It's a little harsh, and it's a kind of dirty soil taste. So, not the most pleasant taste in the world. I know matches, as in matches. 860. I know he likes this tobacco a lot, or he tried it. Not the most pleasant taste in the world. I've had a lot better lot of Kia blends, like Old Ironside, Northwoods, Nightcap by Dunhill, even 965 by Dunhill, you know, are better. I don't know. So, I have mixed feelings about this tobacco. It's not bad. It's not like a sucky bad tobacco, but it's not a, bad, a good tobacco either. So, overall rating for this tobacco, I probably honestly have to give it because it's very moist. It's very hard to smoke, very hard to light, and it has kind of like a bitter soil-like metallic taste to it. When I say metallic, I mean almost like a 
hard to describe, but you, you, you get what I'm saying. I would honestly give this tobacco out of 10, probably only about 6 out of 10. Not that good. I'm lucky, I'm, I'm glad I only bought um, one ounce of it, because if I, if I bought two or three ounces or even a pound of it, I think I would be really, really disappointed. And a pound of this in a tin is not cheap. It's almost $60. So anyway, give me your thoughts. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, if you want to, personal message me on class stuff. Anyway, uh, peace out later, and as always, say peace out. Bye.